Yeah, this bar, I'll show you the bar first, but the thinking here uh, is that you want to be able to kind of take existing site traffic. And this idea doesn't need to just apply to mortgages, but you've got traffic coming to your website. Uh, for a lot of us, it has to do with uh, the automated property alerts that we set people up for as a best practice. So if you're mm -hmm. driving lead flow through your site, you should be setting everybody up for on alerts. If you have KV Core or similar systems, a lot of times you can just automate the setting up of alerts. But those people are coming back to your site every day automatically without you putting in any effort. Uh, and the idea of a free lead Friday, sure, they're already kind of a lead. Um, but but if you want to engage and generate more conversations, putting a header bar at the top of your site makes a lot of sense. So we actually have one on Wake Up that's just for our internal purposes. Yep. And then the other, the other day, I, I consulted Chat GPT again and said, hey, can you give me some code for a closable uh a closable bar that sits at the top of a website. Um, and it did it for me. Uh, it gave me the code. Cause I'm not really, you know, I'm a hack coder. Like look, anybody could do this guys. You could go ask chat, chat GPT. You might have to figure out the code a little bit. It helps to know HTML and stuff. Anyway, this bar up top, Josh, it might look a little small. Um, it is a little understated on desktop, but I kind of like it that way because it's pretty much perfect on, on um, mobile. So that was exactly my, when I went and checked yours out this morning or last night, I can't remember when I did, that was my immediate reaction. And then I knew, I figured that that is why, because I don't know what the stats are. Did, does KB Core publish any of that? Do they have that? Or I, I'm no. curious, I, I'd be interested yeah. to see what, I would guess it's somewhere between 75 and 80% of real estate yeah. related um, website activity is on mobile. Well, especially if a lot, you know that a lot of traffic is coming from uh, from the property alerts. People are checking at stuff on their phone. They're getting your email exactly. every day in the morning, having their coffee. They click through to look at a few listings, and it's mobile. Um, yep, exactly. And you could you can actually start to get an idea, Josh, by looking at your activity stream on KV Core because you could see oh, no. it tells you it tells you which device the person's on. Oh no, kidding! You don't know that. Here, let's show, we'll take it. We'll take a quick detour into that so, just to show everybody. while ryan's bringing that up here is um let, let me give you another uh way to think about this as a free leads friday if you are doing anything to drive free traffic to your website for example um like your social post of the day that is that is free and um if you send them to an open like in, in ryan's today it was just a listing but it could be a curated list where you don't force registration, right? You just send them to an open uh, IDX feed. Having that at the top gives you a way to convert that free traffic into, uh, you know, someone in your database, a, a new a new prospect or lead in your database. You had no activity in your stream. Maybe there's just a bug, but something's going on with your site. Uh, but you can see here, you see the little phone. I'm kind of trying to highlight it. It's tiny. Uh, down oh, the yeah. Back. You know, I've seen that a million times and I just never thought about it. Yeah, you can see. So this one's on a yeah. computer on a desktop. That was actually me. <laughs> but you can see a lot of the traffic will be phone. And you could start to get yeah. an idea. Like Julie's been here on her phone 32 times and 12 times on her desktop. It's interesting to know. Anyway, uh, so this bar, the whole point of it is to take the attention, you know, we're market and divert it to where you want it to go to generate a better conversation. So we like uh, using financing, of course, to engage because it brings people through the next phase in the funnel. They need to get pre-approved eventually. And these videos Josh have been doing about these very niched mortgage programs are interesting to engage around. So uh, right here, you can see the bar. Now, getting the code for this is as simple or as difficult because <laughs> this is V1, version one, Josh. Uh, <laughs> well, here, uh, the easy don't... button is just use the chat on the site and we'll help you. Yeah, we'll help you. But basically, yeah. if you go to the co-marketing section on Wake Up Real Estate, you can download the code in a new window and you're going to get this scary thing right here. Um, and usually I, when I build these things, I make it a little easier. But due to the nature of this, it was kind of hard to instantly giving you the co code. But you got to switch out your your email where it says your email here and your first and last name to make it track back to you and send the leads to you and everything. Um, I'll probably make this better, but for now, if you want this bar, just chat us up, um, you know, and uh, there's instructions on the page. Like we, we do need the information about your website or we can give you the code with your email inserted uh, on it. 
Yeah. Um, but but for Freely, it's Friday. I don't want to get bogged down in the mortgage bar itself. The mortgage bar is a good example. You should consider having a call to action bar at the top of your site, whether you use our bar or not. And I would just recommend a good free place to go. There's probably lots of these out there, but Hello Bar does have a free option. Yeah. And you could just go get a Hello Bar account and and put a free option up at the top. Uh, you can also do this with Get Gist, which is uh, a tool I talked about a few weeks ago. Um, but you can go get the free Hello Bar account and link it to whatever you want, you know, your home valuation page. Uh, but yeah, the mortgage bar. Uh, if you want it installed for you, just let us know.